Shad, the orange Shad Dart. And uh, he didn't have a name for it, but uh, all I'm going to do is put down a small base. What color is red? Orange. Now, was this a, uh, a home diamond fly, or is this something you got at Keeney's? No, 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 I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he tied this himself. That's just a dumbbell eye with a floss body. It's real yeah, simple, right? and he was using black dumbbells. Uh, I don't have enough for black for everybody, but I have one for everybody who's tying. Yeah, I do. I have enough for everybody who's tying. And the way I tie the dumbbells down is I put eight, seven to eight wraps one direction and go seven to eight wraps the other direction on the barbell eyes until they come up square. And you can see that the barbell eyes will still twist if you have it that way. So I go underneath it like this and I tighten it up underneath and it'll still twist. So what I end up doing is I take a little bit of, of uh, Zappagap and I put just a drop on there and I'm using the super thin. I'm using the super thin stuff so it penetrates down to the, to the hook shank. I'll let it dry for a few seconds and then I'll put more wraps on it. And once you do that, it's not going to, it's not going to move anywhere. Okay, so this is a really simple fly, super simple fly. You take some of the pearl crystal flash, and I take about four to four to five strands of pearl crystal flash. Just a small. Let's see. There's three. There's five there, and then I'll double it over. And then I'll take the eight strands that I have in there and I'll double that over. So I've got like 16 strands sticking out. Tie it in right behind the eye, fold it over. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. on top of the hook shank as I'm wrapping it. And I want to wrap it just slightly around the bend because I, what I want to make sure it does is I want to make sure it rides hook up. Now I cut the bot I cut the tail about the length of the body. And basically, that's the, that's the orange shad fly right there, but I like to build up the body a bit. And with the 6 aught thread that I'm using, it takes a little bit. And that was it? That's what he was using? That's all he was using. It's just something like that. But I like to build the body up a little bit more. And it looked to me like he had a fairly thick head cement base or a... Uh, an epoxy base on his fly. So in order to build it up, I'll take this uh, thicker orange, I take the thick orange thread. What's it say on the spool? It's uh, orange big fly. Ah, that is thick. Did you try fishing it with the... With the I didn't try fishing oh. this at all. I just, oh, when, when we left that, when we left that day, this is the fly he was using. He showed us. He said, he said, I'm just using a simple fly. And he you showed were using the black one? Huh? No, nope, we were using the other two. We were using the Bloody oh, Maria's. We were using the Bloody Maria's and uh, uh, a chartreuse and pink fly that Ed and I normally use. And I tried, it, I tried everything I had, and I, I didn't get any hit. They just weren't willing to hit while the sun was on the water. As soon as the sun went off, it co probably could have thrown anything, including the orange fly. But... Uh, did you get two or three hours of fishing then before sun off the water? No. No? No, Alan, Alan was...
was tired and he quit a little early. So I just quit with him and it, just as we were getting packed up, they started catching the fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then that's it. You don't have a big head on it or anything? No big head, nothing. It, the fly he had was a very skinny was a very skinny fly, but it was but it was also very shiny. So he had a coating of something on there. And basically I just coat this with a coat of head cement. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coat it with a layer of head cement on there. What kind of hook and what size? This is a of this is a size eight and it is a hook made specifically for shad dart flies. Oh, okay. And it's the only place I know of that you can get this hook is the fly shop. And ready? Yep, and it's their brand, oh, okay. TFS. I haven't seen this hook model anywhere else, so I don't know if it's available in an eagle claw. That, is that a nickel hook or it's, is that a fly? It's a nickel. Oh, okay. it, it's, so it's, it's not a nickel, they like, call yeah. it a tin plate. They call it a tin plate. Okay, so if you look at it, you can see that it's a very shiny, very shiny uh, fly. And that's basically the way it was when he, when he was fishing it. So, is that the, the eyes, is that heavy enough? Or do you think uh, more? No, uh, with this, uh, you want the line to take the fly down to where the fish are. The, the eyes that are being used on this fly, not necessarily <clears throat> heavy enough to take it down to the bottom, especially if you're using a floating line or a small five, five foot sink tip. Uh, it's, not, it's not designed to do that. All it's designed to do is to make the fly turn and hook up because the, the best place to hook the shad is right in the roof of the mouth. You try to hook them in the bottom part yeah, of your jaw, they're real and they're in the they're side, right. you're probably going to lose the fish. So, the best, the best place to hook the shad is, is right on the roof of the mouth, on the top somewhere. And that's basically it.